In front of our eyes, an entire era is fading away. Boston Dynamics has retired the robot Atlas. But before we could bid farewell to Atlas, Boston Dynamics has given a real gift to all robotics enthusiasts by introducing a new generation of Atlas robots developed in collaboration with Hyundai. But that's not all the news from the company. Roco showcased a new video demonstrating how the Boston Dynamics robot Spot herds sheep, checks crops, and lounges in the grass. Additionally, Menti Robotics unveiled its first prototype of a two-legged humanoid robot capable of understanding human language and learning. These and other high-tech news in one video. We are witnessing the end of an era. Boston Dynamics has retired the robot Atlas. After 11 years of dancing, acrobatics, and other impressive feats, the humanoid robot Atlas is going into retirement. Boston Dynamics, which developed it in 2013 for a competition held by the U.S. Department of Defense, bid farewell to Atlas in a video. The humanoid robot failed to attract buyer interest. Unlike the robotic dog and bird-like warehouse worker, two other Boston Dynamics creations, the company does not publicize the reasons for retiring the hydraulic robot Atlas. However, there are several factors that indicate the justification for this decision. Firstly, in recent years, Boston Dynamics has focused on commercializing its developments. Secondly, complex hydraulic robots are unpopular with buyers because they leave puddles of hydraulic fluid on the floor. Thirdly, the company is very successful in selling the robot dog named Spot. And finally, Robotics is actively and successfully evolving towards fully electric androids. It is possible that in the future, we will see a new humanoid robot from Boston Dynamics without hydraulics, but no less capable. But before we had a chance to say goodbye to Atlas, Boston Dynamics made a real gift to all robotics enthusiasts and introduced a new generation of Atlas robots developed together with Hyundai. The new Atlas is designed based on decades of research and confirms our commitment to creating the most capable and useful mobile robots that solve the most complex tasks in modern industry, explained Boston Dynamics. The new robot is fully electric, with fully removed hydraulic elements. According to company specialists, the second generation of Atlas robots has become even faster and more agile. The new model of Boston Dynamics robots will be tested at the testing ground at the Hyundai factory. Developers promise to provide more details about the robot and its design in the future. The company stated that it is the most dynamic humanoid robot in the world. But that's not all the news from the company. The Boston Dynamics Spot robot herds sheep, checks crops and lounges in the grass in a new video. New Zealand company Rokos intends to make this a reality. Rokos demonstrated how such a device can be used in agriculture. For now, it's a showcase of capabilities that are expected to be implemented in the future. Rokos plans to collaborate with Boston Dynamics to develop a software platform through which the Spot robot can perform the actions shown in the video. This means it can assist in herding sheep, inspecting various crop yields, and creating real-time route maps. According to Rokos, the use of such robots in agriculture increases food production efficiency, enhances yield estimation accuracy, and reduces the workload on workers. It's currently unclear when the platform will be ready, but given the capabilities of Boston Dynamics robots, it's entirely plausible that Spot can handle such tasks. Menti Robotics has unveiled its first prototype of a two-legged humanoid robot capable of understanding human language and learning. The team is developing a humanoid robot that according to them, would be able to understand commands in natural language using artificial intelligence. The Menti Bot prototype incorporates AI at every level of its operations. Its motion control is based on a new machine learning method called Sim2Real, where reinforcement learning occurs in a virtual version of the robot, allowing it to use as much data as needed for training, and then react to the real world using minimal data. Methods based on NERF, the latest neural network technologies for representing 3D scenes, reflect the world in real time. Semantic knowledge is stored in these cognitive maps, which the computer can query to find things and places. The Menti robot can determine its location on a 3D map and then automatically plan dynamic paths to avoid obstacles. The prototype demonstrated a complete cycle of performing complex tasks, including navigation, locomotion, scene understanding, object detection and localization, grasping and understanding natural language. However, Menti Robotics noted that this is not the final version. 
The company also announced that it initially targets two main markets for the Menti humanoid. One of these markets is the household sector, where a domestic assistant capable of maneuvering in households can perform a range of tasks, including setting the table, cleaning, laundry, and learning new tasks on the fly through verbal instructions and visual imitation. The second industrial market is the warehouse, where the automated robot is designed for efficient searching, retrieval, and transportation of items, as well as capable of handling loads up to 25 kilograms. LimX Dynamics, a Chinese company specializing in the development of walking robots, has unveiled the four-legged robot W1 equipped with wheels at the ends of its legs. The robot is capable of dynamically combining walking with wheeling, overcoming obstacles such as gaps, and moving up and down stairs. Due to the built-in surface type recognition system, W1 can autonomously switch between different modes of movement and dynamically adjust the height and angle of its body relative to the ground during motion. All four legs of the Limex W1 have backward bent knee joints. At the end of each leg is a wheel with an electric motor that can be locked and act as a grippy sole during walking. The robot can combine walking with wheeling, and the integrated surface type recognition system allows it to autonomously switch between modes of movement, selecting the most suitable option depending on the situation. Moreover, if necessary, it can bend its front or rear legs in such a way that the body maintains a horizontal position when moving on inclined surfaces. This feature may come in handy, for example, if the robot is carrying an unsecured load. Robomart has developed the world's first autonomous grocery store based on an electric vehicle. The creators of Robomart found that around 60% of the products sold are perishable goods, with less than 5% of such products sold in the online segment. The challenge lies in the fact that the delivery of such products is quite expensive, and in addition, customers do not trust someone unfamiliar to choose such products for them, preferring to visit offline stores themselves. The Robomart concept addresses this issue as follows. The customer simply needs to press a button in the mobile app to summon the nearest van to their home, similar to Uber Eats. Upon arrival at the specified address, the customer opens the doors of the mobile store using the same application, selects the desired products, and notifies the system when the shopping is complete. The RoboMart van is a fully autonomous vehicle without a driver's seat, allowing the entire internal volume to be used for products. Charging is done using wireless charging stations, which the vans find autonomously, the range from a full charge is 130 kilometers, 80 miles, and the maximum travel speed is 40 kilometers per hour, 25 miles per hour. The developers use the NVIDIA hardware platform supplemented by their own software. Researchers from Princeton University, USA, have introduced TidyBot, a project of a personalized assistant robot. The robot is equipped with functionality that allows it to classify objects by color, recycle beer cans, tidy up items, and collect trash. The essence of the research lies in personalizing home cleaning with the help of a personal cleaning robot equipped with a manipulator capable of cleaning rooms by lifting and tidying up objects. The key task is to determine the correct place for each item, depending on the preferences of the people, which may vary depending on their personal tastes. For example, one person may prefer to store shirts in a drawer of a table, while another person may prefer to store them on a shelf. Researchers presented an example of a system that can learn about user preferences based on just a few examples through previous interactions with a specific person. User examples are presented as a textual list of objects present at the cleaning site and a list of possible containers where they can be placed. This is followed by a series of commands that show where to place the objects according to the user's preferences. Write in the comments what you think about the new generation of Atlas robots. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also check out our previous videos. See you next time.